All right, guys, so we got our BC coilovers finally, and we're gonna open it up. Damn, we got some stickers right here, guys. Come over here, come over here. Oh, that is nice. Look at them. Wow. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Y'all see that? Golly. I'm excited. Super excited. Oh. <laughs> so let's get the installing, guys. So, first things first, I'm not going to show you guys because my car's already up. Put it up on jacks, take the wheels off, and then I'm going to start showing you everything. So, let's go. It's All right, guys, so first things first, we're actually going to start taking everything that's connected to the actual strut that we have. So we're going to take off the sway bar link. We're going to take off the brake line that's attached to it. We're going to take this part out that's connected as well. And uh, there's a clip right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. We're going to take that off. So we're going to take all of this off, guys, and uh, I'll tell you, and I mean, of course, the main bolts that go on the main tower, but... I'll tell you guys the, the bolt size and everything, so let's get started. First things first, we're going to take off all these little things over here. So let's take the brake line off first. And I believe that's going to be a 12. Let me just make sure. Okay, guys, so it is a 12, so we're going to take the brake line off. I'm sorry that I'm using my, you know, the other way. Finally out. I'm going to put that down here. We're going to take off thing that connects the brake line again with the little bracket now we're going to take this off this can be taken off and now we only got a clip right here we're going to use like a or or needle nose pliers or your head uh, your flathead screwdriver to take this part that part off so now everything technically is off and we need to take the sway bar link off too so we took it off guys and the line is free this steel is on there but I'm gonna leave it on there and I'll take it off whenever I'm done now we just gotta take off the the sway bar link guys mine I believe is gonna be a 19 millimeter do not quote me give me a second it's a 19 millimeter guys remember you have to put a uh, an allen wrench right here and then actually bust it open and I think you can do it so let's get alright guys so I'm gonna break the nut loose first cause you know it's tight and then I'm gonna finish it off with the actual allen wrench so it doesn't move and the and what's it called and the actual wrench so let's get it came off it was already losing for me sorry so now we're going to take it off guys. Now we're going to unbolt the actual bolts that connect the, uh, the, the springs onto the actual uh, driver thing. I forgot what it's called. Sorry. It's too cold. I can't think right now. Alright guys. So to take those bolts off, you know, you're going to have to break it with the breaker bar. It's not going to come off because it's going to keep rotating. So we're going to use this. This is a 22. And of course we would need a wrench that size. But sadly we don't, we don't have one. So this right here guys, this adjustable is a lifesaver. Because this is the only way that I'm taking it off. Or I would have had to go buy one. So we're going to put this one in here. Tighten it up so it doesn't move and we're gonna use our either you know our ratchet or whatever let me tighten it a little more and just like that guys your board is off we're gonna do the same with the bottom one now make sure to watch out on this one because you know your brake stuff is in here that's why we took it off so when we put this one on we're not gonna have to worry about it. And it's slipping, so we're gonna go in here. 
adjust a little more. And it's out guys. So we got both nuts off. Now we're gonna have to take the bolts off. And uh, let's see if they can if they come out easy. They probably won't, of course not. So this one is coming out pretty easy. It's not coming out, so we're actually gonna use the hammer method. I guess so. I like to use not the hammer, but it's the mallet one. So we're gonna try to tap it out. As you guys saw, it's coming out already. You know, you don't have to be aggressive or nothing. And we're just pulling this one out. And uh, I think it's gonna need some persuasion, if you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna use this right here, guys. It's just an extension. We're gonna put it in here, it's flat. And uh, yeah, pretty much. So we're gonna put it in there in the hole and just hammer that one out. And just like that, it came off, guys. So we're going to bring the other one down. And it's out guys. So right now, this is being held by only one thing and that's the actual, what's it called, the extension that I had in there. Alright guys, so after you done took the, the sway bar link and the nuts off, I'm sorry, uh, the other side is actually on right there guys is actually on uh long story short my batteries died yesterday so i couldn't film and i managed to put all of this together but i didn't want to do the other side because i didn't show you fully so anyways guys right here as you see under your tc let me lower this down you have your cover and there's a nut right here so you're gonna use a wrench i think it was like a i believe it was like a like a 10 or something it was this bolt right here and then you can do that you could take this part off over here as well well i just lost my bowl y'all right here but i figured out that with the 14 millimeter if we come to the other side we can get in there pretty nice to all of them so i didn't have to do that really it would be easier though if you can take this off you can i just don't want to i'm lazy what can i say but anyways after you done took off everything guys uh make sure to put one in here so you know of course you have all your stuff out here you know and it's out out of the way but it, we don't want to just we don't we don't want it to just drop so now we're going to take these bolts off guys and i'm using a 14 millimeter so let's get to it The other one's off. Okay guys, so I have to show you something right quick. So right here, right, we have this one. And if it's actually on the nut, you really don't have space because it, it blocks off right there. So, a way to do that. You can use one of these guys so as you can see there's a bent right there uh this one is a 9 16 and you can get in there pretty well the only thing is that you're gonna have to be taking it out and then putting it back in you know what i'm saying so it's not like your mechanical one yeah i'm clutch what can i say <laughs> so let's get it going Alright guys, uh, before you take, uh, you know, all of them off, I know it'd be easier to just take this one and then go on from there, but you're going to have an easier time if you take the far one out and then the one over here and then the one that is wide open. Main reason because when you're unloosing it, you can actually take it off with your finger really fast. 
but if the last one is in there you're not going to be able to because all the weight is going to be uh, is going to be bringing down that bolt so you're actually going to have to you know unscrew it like this and not like that so it's easier trust me it saves you a lot of time you see right here i can actually oh there it is there we go there we go all right guys so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do this with a camera but we gotta take this bolt off of course but it's being weighed down by this oh it came out pretty easy actually let's see if we can take it off okay so we took it off guys put it on top of here and uh let me boost up the iso so you can yeah there we go and from there on out and there we go guys i know it's cheaper guys and um to buy lower springs but trust me it's not it's not safe for you <laughs> for real that's the main reason that I decided to go with the BC coilovers because I mean, yeah, you are gonna get a lower ride. Uh, I'm actually gonna max it out at top height because I wouldn't be able to pass, you know, bumps. <laughs> so, uh, long story short, we had these, uh, well, the previous owner had these lowering springs and to be honest, I was not, I was not impressed at all. Any bump, the car will literally go from like it will be like a warm type of thing, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's terrible. So that was one thing that I knew I had to change. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Now let's uh, go to the install and and go to the back one. So let's go. Okay, guys, we got our BC coil over right here uh, at the top. It tells us which one it is, so make sure that you put it on the right one. Uh, these are the tools. Uh, they come with the BC coilover, so don't worry about that. And uh, before we install anything, guys, and put it at the top, we're actually going to put in the bolt. Uh, we're not going to put on the sway bar link yet. We're going to do that afterwards. And, uh, yeah, pretty much. So let's get the bolts in here, guys, and get everything strapped up, and then we can uh, jack it up so we can put it up here okay guys so i managed to put in the bolts uh all this stuff is not on yet um we're actually gonna install that right now so our you know our brake line and our abs i'm pretty sure and our sway bar link is not actually gonna go in we're actually gonna install it up here first like i told you we get this tied up we lower it down and then we can put the sway bar link in and then we should be good just tying everything so let's get it okay guys so after you done jacked up your stuff in there as you can see i got the the brake line everything attached uh remember it's a 12 millimeter you're gonna clip this on it's just a clip and then there's one right here and one back here with both brackets and uh the next thing we're gonna do is actually um put the bolts up here first don't tighten them just put them so so they're flush with the nut uh, I'm putting these on guys just for the aesthetic because we're actually gonna change a lot of the stuff in the car and this gold looking nut is gonna help out the aesthetics of it as you can see there's a huge difference right here this one gives you more space to work with this one does not but I'm going for the aesthetics guys so I'm going to put these on, but I am going to save those just in case I get tired of these. Or I can just paint those, you know, the same color. So, Okay, guys, so we're just putting them back. 
put them flush to the nut flush to the nut in the actual screw and we're going to do that to every single one guy okay guys so all my nuts are flush to the actual bolt and we're going to come down here lower it down enough or boost it up actually so we can install our our uh, what's it called our sway bar link put that nut in a safe place and we're actually going to drop it right quick, guys. No, we're actually going to lift it up. <clears throat> so we're actually going to have to turn the wheel, guys. So let's, let's do that right now. Okay, guys. So I turned the wheel enough so I can actually stick this in there. This is going to have to adjust it, of course. it's in there it's in there so right now guys we're actually gonna put the bolt back we're not gonna tighten it right now but we are gonna put this so we can install the the other part so right there that's as far as i can do it these are as far as i can do it so now we're gonna change the right height right here we're gonna try to max it out guys so right now guys so make sure to um you know well, now I think it's at as high as points, guys. So let me lower this down. Before you do that, make sure you bring down this right here. Screwing it all the way to the bottom. And let's get this one. The thing I like about these is that they go in so smooth. So that's the good thing about it. Now we're going to actually bring it down, guys. <clears throat> Slowly, of course. And that is it. You saw that? It did, it did a wheelie, yo. That's it, guys. Your front ones are done. Uh, before we do that, let's go to the back. 